I'm Scott, CEO and co-founder of Metronome. And Metronome really started out of my time at Dropbox, where I led monetization engineering. And our job was to ship a bunch of new products and get them priced and packaged appropriately. That job turned out to be extremely frustrating because every time we wanted to change prices, it would take three, six, 12 months in order to get it live. And so I quit Dropbox and started Metronome. And in a simple way, what we do is we provide infrastructure for billing so that your engineering teams don't need to spend any time working on billing and your business teams have full control over exactly how your product is priced and packaged. And that focus has led us to have a really huge kind of surge in emerging markets like AI, infrastructure, database, uh, database data services, startups, in particular companies with usage-based business models. And you may recognize one of our customers, OpenAI. Um, we actually started working with them two years ago when they had around 10, 15,000 customers and have been with them for the huge hyper growth that they've been with, uh, through. And the core value that like OpenAI, I'll leave you with two facts about them. When we started working with them, they had half an engineer working on billing. They went through several orders of magnitude growth. And now they still have single digit numbers of engineers at a time when Dropbox had about 70, 80 engineers working on billing. That's because Metronome is there to help power all of their experiences. And the second fact I'll leave you with is that before Metronome, OpenAI took about six, eight weeks to launch a new pricing model. With Metronome, it takes about six minutes. And that kind of leads to a really rapid change in the business. If you've noticed, they drop prices seemingly every week. In part, that's because Metronome allows them to do that. So I know everyone loves graphs. And uh, for me, like the, the starting point for Metronome is think of us like Datadog. We process it individual events, packets of information that correlate to how customers are using your product. And the key for us is we're not allowed to drop any event. Any event that you send us has to be has to be monetized or your customers get misbilled. We've experienced insane amounts of growth. And actually last year we crossed the billion event daily mark and that number's going up and up every single quarter. The second way to think about the value that we provide is how, how many people do we touch? How many people do we actually send invoices to or interact with in our dashboards on a monthly basis? And if you squint really hard, you might be able to see the moment when ChatGPT launched. Um, we're, we're now serving hundreds of millions of invoices a month, which is way larger than Dropbox ever achieved or almost any public company that you can name. And that's because of the customers that we work with. That is like a lot of customer touch points and a lot of the value that we tend to provide. We're also an infrastructure company. Um, we do all of that processing in real time. So we process billions and billions of events a month in real time. We count them exactly accurately. We pass SOX audits so that we can mathematically prove that every single event is calculated exactly correctly. And we process hundreds of thousands of invoices a minute during bill runs. Of course, all of those graphs are impressive, but they wouldn't be possible without the people that we are. And so the way I like to think about us is like our job is super serious. If we go down, customers don't get paid. That's terrible. So it's extremely stressful at times. Um, and so what we do is we kind of channel that and we kind of turn it into whimsy and fun. So you'll see like our Slack is filled with the gnomes, that's our mascot, it's filled with dolly images, trolling, etc. We also, every summer, spend time together at Camp Metronome. We pull, put on a camp in the wilderness and have fun together. And also, we take karaoke extremely seriously. Down here, this, this is Andrew. He's our COO. He's singing a duet to Alanis Morissette. <laughs> and then lastly, I wouldn't be here, but if we weren't hiring a ton, we're hiring across all roles. I would particularly emphasize who in a market. That's a team we're building out. Um, we 5 x ARR last year with two sales reps. Um, we're going really, really fast. Uh, I would also highlight the design side of things. I think people don't think of billing as a sexy design space, but we're here to change that. So if you're a designer and you're looking for a really interesting, hard problem space that hasn't been solved, please come talk to me. And if you're full of like first principles thinking and you like work hard, play hard culture, we're a good place for that. So thank you.